Száznál is több kis és közepes vállalkozás vezetője vett részt az Ataknál Solutions Hungary Budapesten az Öböl Rendezvény Központban megtartott konferenciáján. A Horizont 2020-ról, a versenyképesség feltételét jelentő innovációról, a jó ötletek piacra juttatásáról kaphattak átfogó tájékoztatást a résztvevők. Az Ataknál Solutions öt országban, öt irodával, 110 mérnökkel, számos együttműködő partnerrel áll az innovatív vállalkozások rendelkezésére, hogy a Brüsszelből közvetlenül elérhető pénzügyi támogatások megszerzésében a KKV-k partnere legyen. A Horizont 2020 keretprogram. Mon belül több lehetőség kínálkozik a KKV-k számára, mind a kutatásra, fejlesztésre, ezek az úgynevezett kollaboratív vagy együttműködési programok, mind a piacra jutásra, piachoz közeli fejlesztésre, illetve vannak olyan tőke programok, amik már a piacon lévő vállalatok piaci növekedését segítik. A konferenciánk fő témája az az úgynevezett KKV eszköz, a kis és középvállalkozásoknak szóló olyan speciális program, amelyik azt az innovatív lépés segíti, amelyik elengedhetetlenül szükséges a vállalkozás további növekedéséhez. Ez az innovatív lépés lehet egy technológiai megvalósítás, lehet egy piackutatás, vagy bármilyen olyan tevékenység, ami elengedhetetlen a KKV számára. A mi cégünk, az Atecnea Solutions, ebben nyújt segítséget a KKV-knak. Egyrészt óriási tapasztalatunk van az európai közösségi források megszerzésében, másrészt pedig olyan műszaki háttérrel rendelkezünk, amely segíti azt, hogy a KKV-k hozzájussanak a csúcs technológiai szolgáltatásokhoz, vagy rajtunk keresztül, vagy Európában lévő más partnerünkön keresztül. A szolgáltatásunk egy része mérnöki tevékenység, különösen az automatizálás területén, ahol csúcs technológiai, ipari, úgymond ready to use készülékeket tudunk készíteni ipari partnereink számára. Ezen kívül gépészeti tervezéssel és kivitelezéssel rendelkezünk, van egy gyors prototípus készítő berendezésünk, amivel a prototípusok előkészítését, tervezését tudjuk segíteni. Rendelkezünk egy szoftver programozó csapattal, együttműködés keretében Európa számos egyeteméhez hozzáférünk, illetve az ő tudásbázisukat tudjuk közösen kihasználni, illetve a szolgáltatásaink nagy része az nem a mérnöki tevékenység, hanem projektmenedzsment, innovációmenedzsment, gap analízis, és az egyéb olyan üzleti tevékenység, ami elengedhetetlen szükséges a kkv sikeréhez. A Backoff Automation Kft. a Németországi Backoff Automation GmbH-nak a leányvállalata Magyarországon. 2012 óta vagyunk jelen. Vállalatunk ipari automatizálási készülékek és megoldások fejlesztésével, tesztelésével, gyártásával foglalkozik. Az Atecna Solutions Kft-vel 2012 óta tartjuk a kapcsolatot, automatizálási beszállító partnerei vagyunk, műszaki innovatív megoldásokat kínálunk nekik, több projektjükben részt vettünk, ilyen az egyik a Shellbrain, a másik pedig a Mikohan projekt. A Mikohan egy olyan toxin mintalevő és mérőrendszer, amely a hosszadalmas laboratóriumi vizsgálatokat tudja majd kiváltani annak érdekében, hogy a megtermelt búzában a dontoxin tartalmat kimutassa. Ez az ötlet, ez a fejlesztési irány, ez egy alapkutatásként indul, és ehhez kellett az Ateknea szakértelme, és szerintem ők illovatív fejlesztők is részben ebben a projektben, valamint az a project management, a pályázatírás, és az egyébként ennek az alapkutatásnak az összeszervezése és a sikeres megvalósításához szükséges volt. Az a termék elkészül, ez releváns eredményeket hoz, és azokban az években, amikor ismét fel, felmerül ez a probléma a szántóföldön termelt búza, toxintartának rapid vizsgálatára készen fog állni ez a termék. Az Atecne a project managementet nyújtott ehhez a, a fejlesztéshez, ők azok, akik a pályázatot megírták, ennek a pénzügyi és szakmai lebonyolítását véghez vitték. A korábbi évek tapasztalatai alapján a pályázati nyerési statisztikánk az az európai átlag kétszerese volt, és a velünk pályázó partnerek így kétszer akkora valószínűséggel jutottak a közösségi támogatáshoz, mint egyéb formában.
The application of robotics in welding has greatly contributed to cost effectiveness, speed and higher quality throughout the industry. Automation, however, has its shortcomings, especially when it comes to unique tasks or small batch production. Robotic welding requires real-life positions, shapes and edges to exactly match the programming. Welding robots cannot perceive variably extensive discrepancies present in a batch of weldable elements, nor can they give feedback on geometric and spatial deviations. It is up to the welding experts to repeatedly correct for mismatches, which is a time-consuming and sometimes even frustrating work. Marvin is a novel system that combines existing principles in welding, automations with new devices, to improve interaction between virtual plotting and real-life welding. The hardware component vision system consists of a projector and a camera that automatically or manually scans the workpiece, then loads parameters into the software component to create a working model in the 3D environment. Marvin is capable of merging multiple scans, previously existing parameters, and most importantly, locating discrepancies between the CAD model and the real object's edges and positioning. After comparisons, the new data is used to create an updated, more accurate toolpath that can be fully simulated and examined in motion before real-life completion. The correct path can then be uploaded to the robot controller for smooth and punctual welding. As an easy-to-use, performance-enhancing tool, Marvin will contribute to lowering costs, further raising quality and staying competitive as a small or medium-sized enterprise. Between 1998 and 2009, Europe suffered 213 major damaging floods, causing over 1,100 deaths, the displacement of a half a million people and about 52 billion euros in insured economic losses. The latest Great European Flood in the summer of 2013 alone cost 12 billion euros. Due to the ongoing disruption of weather patterns in our changing climate, floods are becoming even less predictable and increasingly harder to manage. This trend will most likely continue through the coming decades and needs to be counterbalanced with new ideas in flood protection. Especially when it comes to built-in areas, rapidly and easily deployable compact solutions are still needed. Inflated presents an entirely new approach to mobile dam and barrier construction. Manufactured from high durability PVC foil and lightweight floating part, due to its shape and structure, after proper placement, it reaches its full strength and height by using the water mass itself. The floaters rise with the water reaching the structure while pulling the connected expanding units upwards, forcing them to fill up and solidify. Within the structure, the water mass is forced to raise its own dam. Meanwhile, sensors fitted with wireless connections continuously transmit water levels or send out alarms. Inflator comes in different shapes and lengths to be placed in minutes with minimal physical labour along curvy coastlines and around construction and housing areas. The system passed various wave and current tests and the leakage tests of water levels up to one metre in height. As an affordable, reusable, flexible solution, Inflator offers a universal tool for communities, private individuals and businesses in areas subject to low or moderate flat levels.
the manufacturing and engineering industry depends heavily on workflow efficiency. Despite continuous attempts at innovation, the sector is reaching record lows across Europe. This is especially true for welding, as it is an essential area of industrial manufacturing. Smaller welding workshops are under economic pressure to find new solutions in order to stay in a competitive market, while the number of skilled welders decreases every year. Contemporary welding processes are computer-aided, using CAD files to calculate welding structure and raw material usage. A fundamental but costly time time-consuming part of any welding process, however, is the proper alignment and fixed positioning of weldable elements, in short, clamping. Clamping requires custom assemblies to hold the elements in place and in the right orders throughout the process. Designing and building them needs highly trained, experienced staff, raw materials and time, only to go to waste after the work is done. The Clampit project is aimed to provide assistance in producing versatile clamping assemblies and plotting more cost-effective welding processes procedures, applicable for both manual and robotic welding. Our software component will be able to analyze existing CAD files and suggest the best possible welding conditions. Clampit would also be able to choose and link processes with any adaptable assemblies available on the market and imported into the database. Further assistance will be provided by helping to determine directions, clamping surfaces, clamping positions, clamps and other elements of the modular clamping system to be used. Product loss through heat-induced deformations could also be minimized by analyzing the workpiece and applying low-stress, no-distortion technology, adding LSND cooling and heating units to the workpiece assembly. Successful settings would also become part of Clampit's database to be reused whenever applicable. Clampit would help significantly increase efficiency by allowing every step to be tightly monitored while making the process quicker and more flexible, ensuring higher quality with less investment even for small batch production. Ver o invisível pode ser também uma forma de melhorarmos a qualidade do vinho que bebemos e a começar logo nas vinhas. Nesta vinha que visitámos na Anadia, na região da Bairrada, está em curso uma vindima muito particular. Os investigadores estão a testar um pequeno aparelho conhecido como Wine Pen, uma caneta de vinhos, em português, que consiste num aparelho eletrónico que pode descrever a composição das uvas. Pois é uma ferramenta muito prática que me permite fazer o controle de maturação in loco, uh, sem, sem, sem destruir a, a uva, que me permite fazer medições rápidas de açúcar, de acidez, fenóis e antocianinas. Uh, o aparelho tem integrado um GPS que me permite ir ao longo da vinha fazendo as diferentes medições dos diferentes sítios e assim conseguir uh, conduzir a minha vindima em função destes, destes valores. A função do aparelho é medir a resposta natural das uvas à luz. Da caneta, a informação recolhida é recarregada em computadores, interligada a modelos matemáticos e, por fim, traduzida em mapas que podem ser igualmente lidos por aparelhos portáteis. Nós temos um mapa de BRICS, ou seja, a quantidade de açúcar na uva. E como podem ver, a escala vai de verde até vermelho. No mapa, as zonas que estão a verde significa que são as zonas onde a uva tem menor concentração de açúcar. As zonas que estão a vermelho são as zonas onde a uva tem maior concentração de açúcar. Aqui neste mapa vemos claramente como há uma zona onde há uma menor concentração de açúcar e significa que o vitivinicultor pode decidir produzir um determinado tipo de vinho. Assim como nós temos uma zona de alta concentração de açúcar onde o vitivinicultor pode decidir produzir um tipo de vinhos que se baseiam numa forte concentração de açúcar mais alcoólico, com mais corpo, vinhos que são mais estruturados. Este avanço tecnológico é muito apreciado, claro, pelos produtores de vinho. 
não precisamos de andar a colher uh, bagos uh, de cepa a cepa, uh, colocar para dentro de um saco, como antes fazíamos, uh, e esperar o resultado que, do laboratório. Uh, todo, pronto, que era um trabalho um bocado moroso uh, e que agora, através desta ferramenta, cons conforme disse há pouco, cons conseguimos vir, ver em tempo real uh, o seu resultado e, pronto, e planear a vindima uh, de um dia para o outro. Este aparelho, a WinePen, foi desenvolvido durante um projeto de pesquisa da União Europeia. Os cientistas projetam agora desenvolver esta tecnologia ao abrigo do programa Horizonte 2020, que arranca a 1 de janeiro e tem mais de 70 mil milhões de euros para investir na investigação científica e tecnológica na Europa. As ideias estão na mesa. Tem que ser mais, mais ergonómico, tem, poderá ser, numa, para um desenvolvimento futuro, poderá ser um bocadinho mais adaptado à mão um, e, sobretudo, Uh, temos que trabalhar bastante a forma como uh, nós depois en encaixamos quer dizer, o, o, o sensor à, um, ao, ao bago, porque temos aqui um problema de, como é um sensor óptico, tem muita interferência da luz e, portanto, temos que melhorar ainda muito a questão de, de fechar o, o sensor ao cacho e, e, portanto, melhorar aqui este aspecto para que não haja tanta interferência da luz no, no bago e na leitura. Aparelhos pequenos, fáceis de usar e capazes de ver o que parece invisível, podem ter ainda mais aplicações do que apenas a gestão de uma vinha ou a segurança de uma obra. Mycotoxin producing fungi or crop mold are known to hazardously contaminate food and feed crops. Toxic contamination is responsible for an average of 15% yearly crop loss, but for individual crops, fungal losses can reach 100%. In 1998, direct and indirect losses through a single wheat epidemic in Hungary alone were estimated to be up to 100 million euros. The European Union continuously lowers acceptable contaminant limits. Therefore, additional costs associated with mycotoxins include prevention, sampling, mitigation and research. While analytical methods compliant with EU regulations are available, representative sampling remains to be the weakest link of the process. Dioxinevalanol, in short Don, is a frequently occurring secondary metabolite produced by a number of fusarium species and presents a major threat to agriculture in Europe. The Mikahan project aims to provide a novel method to detect Don contamination. Fusarium forms on blooming wheat, therefore its presence can be detected during harvest or in storage. Since stone levels in airborne crop dust correlate to actual grain contamination, reliable measurements can literally be pulled out of air during loading procedures. Connected to transportation pipes or purifying units of the wheat processing facility, the Mikahunt system collects and prepares an extract from the dust of each lot and forwards it to its biosensor containing specially developed dawn detecting antibodies. Exact readouts will then be easily accessible through a user-friendly control and monitoring unit. Instead of estimates based on a limited number of randomly taken incremental samples, Mikahan fully scans each and every wheat lot for contaminants in its entirety, guaranteeing a 90% bulk transparency. Data will be continuously available with only a single one-time investment. As an easy-to-use, environmentally friendly tool, Mikahunt will give reliable and truly representative immediate on-site test results and provide a significant competitive advantage for growers and traders.
Every day, dozens of tons of eggshells are wasted in Europe. Did you know they can be recycled into plastics, cosmetics, or even food supplements? But there is a problem. And it's a problem they tackle every day at this small company in Hungary. Every year, around 15 million eggs are transformed into ingredients for pasta, bakery and food service industries. This produces a huge quantity of eggshells every day. And eggshells are difficult to dispose of. Industrial eggshells are considered hazardous waste because proteins in the egg membranes start to decompose easily and may become toxic. So we can only use special companies for removing this waste and transporting it to a treatment center, which is very costly for us. But membranes contain collagen and amino acids that egg processing factories could sell to cosmetic or food industries. But how can egg membranes be separated from the shells in an easy and affordable way? So scientists at a European research project set out to find a way and developed a prototype that mechanically separates membranes from eggshells. Separated membrane is then dried and the final step is to sterilize the dried membrane also in a non-invasive way. We use ultraviolet light which penetrates the bacteria and modifies its DNA. This therefore makes the bacteria inactive and unable to reproduce. Like this, egg membranes are sterilized without chemical agents or high temperatures. They are sterilized in a non-invasive way, so their properties are preserved. The prototype is already a reality, and researchers say they have shown they can help egg processing companies transform waste into valuable products. So scientists are now looking ahead. The next step is to automate the system. Our idea is to tailor make the processing capacity depending on the size of the egg processing plant. It can go from 100 kilos of shells per hour to 1,000 kilos per hour. If we can make that separation in an industrial way, then egg processing companies like us could make a profit from a byproduct, from something which was previously a cost. Researchers hope that a marketable product could be ready in less than three or four years and say it could improve the competitiveness of the whole chicken farming sector in Europe. Playing is so important for the correct development of children that has been recognized as a right of every child by the United Nations. Involvement in leisure activities has several positive benefits on physical and mental health for everyone, regardless of age. However, people with severe physical disabilities have relatively few opportunities to engage in independent leisure activities, that is to say, to play games by themselves. That is the case of cerebral palsy, one of the most frequent neurological conditions in childhood that affects body movements, balance and posture, and often is accompanied by cognitive or sensory impairments. Severity of cerebral palsy varies widely from mild to very profound. These disabilities lead to an inactive lifestyle which reduces physical health, social participation and life quality. 
Hey Invita Games is a useful treatment tool that promotes and maintains a more active and healthy lifestyle for these people. Games can also reduce medical and social care costs and improve the well-being of their families. However, accessibility to video games is hardly applied for people with cerebral palsy. Gameabling is a software tool to create interactive video games in an intuitive manner so that parents, relatives and caregivers can develop tailored games for the children. Gameabling will be controlled using body movements and voice commands. Gameabling will also create a web portal to build up a gaming e-community of disabled users that will have access to use the software tool, play games and upload their own creations to share with the rest of the community. Improving the physical activity, health and well-being of people with disabilities reduce the barriers for independent game developers to introduce new game genres and make games accessible to communities with special needs. Provide a game authoring tool that enables the creation of video games in a cost-effect manner and a human-machine interaction based on computer vision in providing game accessibility to a wide range of disabilities. Development of innovative human-machine interaction techniques based on 3D information processing and computer vision techniques to allow people with disabilities to control the games. The main challenge is to ensure the usability and playability of fan games with these controls. In Europe alone, there are approximately 5 million people living with severe impaired vision due to numerous health and age-related conditions. Different types of vision distortions are characteristic of underlying conditions. Digital image enhancement can be applied to compensate for weakened eyesight. Contemporary imaging and display technology enables real-time streaming of refined, manipulated image sequences, in short videos. By combining existing camera and screen technology into a state-of-the-art wearable accessory that looks a lot like just a pair of sunglasses, we can do all that in 3D. Our depth perception and visual spatial sense is made possible by the relative anatomical positioning of our two eyes. Stereoscopic image creation or even 3D cinema are based on the principle our brain naturally combines two separate viewpoints into a single 3D perspective. With well-placed cameras we can emulate this effect. Using algorithms to manipulate imaging data sent by the cameras to their corresponding displays, we can enhance the view to correct for specific vision impairments. The simultaneous enhanced stereoscopic video projection on the two displays enables 3D vision very similar to that of natural eyesight. With further functions such as zooming or customized augmentation of image parameters, we can help regain some of the lost daily productivity and sense of space. The DigiGlasses project aims to develop an easy-to-use vision correction aid that compensates for distortions that result from reduced eyesight in real time. As a readily available customizable aid for everyday activities, a pair of digging glasses would significantly raise the quality of life for the visually impaired over a longer term or as a temporary helper between treatments. At any given moment, roughly 2,000 thunderstorms are in progress on our planet, producing about 5 million lightning bolts a day. Up to 100 of those reach the ground every second. Large weather surveillance networks collect general data, but they cannot accurately locate cloud-to-ground strikes and are too expensive for private use. Without real-time mapping of the spatial development of lightning from place of origin to strike, global systems are less precise in forecasting wind phenomena related to thunderstorms, for instance tornadoes. Especially in remote areas, knowing exactly where lightning hit or how a storm progresses would radically reduce response time and help minimize damage. 
Quickly developing weather comes with preventable accidents and convective events associated with lightning, such as sudden wind shear, which also pose a constant threat to aviation worldwide. The Low Light Project aims to provide low-cost and accurate sensor technology for private meteorological stations, weather-related enterprises to localize lightning strikes, track and monitor supercells. Lightning occurs in steps while emitting radio signals. By capturing very high frequency emissions, the structure and strengths of each discharge can be determined. Using stationary sensors combined with GPS communication modules, we can triangulate lightning flashes from a distance of 200 kilometers within a 100 meters of accuracy. Processed by mapping algorithms, data becomes accessible, allowing forecasters to identify locations with the most intense updrafts within convective lines. Low light integrated into alarm systems makes an affordable protection network of standalone towers, each covering 125 square kilometers. By increasing awareness of the storm's progress, forecasters can act earlier and issue precise warnings about the severity of events well before their formation. The ability to locally map and accurately predict thunderstorm movements provides smaller service providers with a competitive advantage against large networks. With low light, lightning becomes part of a safety network, a signal that tells us where the storm is going and the next bolt might touch down. So if we listen, we can prepare. Maritime transport represents almost 90% of the total world trade. Despite the crisis, worldwide ports will be put under significant pressure to increase their capacity and efficiency in the coming years, since vessel size is increasing as operators try to achieve economies of scale. Ports are coming under pressure to safely accommodate larger vessels and to continue to grow throughput in existing port facilities. Large vessels usually enter the port with the assistance of trained pilots who are specialized in navigating in a particular port. As soon as the vessel is near the port, a pilot takes position at the bridge alongside the master of the vessel. In most cases, the pilot will use the onboard equipment for navigating the vessel into port. Current positioning equipment on board most vessels is comprised of either an ECDIS system or paper charge in conjunction with a GPS receiver. The errors on such systems may not be known to the pilot. Docking Assist uses a precise differential global navigation satellite system. This system makes it possible to increase the location and speed accuracy by means of a static base station that identifies errors and transmits them wirelessly to the receiver. Here, the correction data will be sent via a novel wireless network based on the WIMEX protocol instead of using traditional UHF or VHF radio channels permitting not only to transmit the correction data, but also to interchange any other important information between the port and the vessels, including weather information, position of other vessels or tidal levels. A high level accuracy for vessel position and speed will assist the pilot or master to navigate the vessel more efficiently and safely in confined harbors and narrow channels. Such a level of accuracy will also reduce the risk of vessel groundings and collisions in harbor areas. The wireless network based on WIMEX technology will cover the entire navigation port zone and its proximities connecting all the vessels with the port. The docking assist solution will result in a reduction of transit time, therefore improving port traffic management. This will lead to time savings, to reduction in fuel usage, to reduction in operating expenses, to increased safety for the vessel, the port and the environment, and to a reduction in CO2 emissions lowering the environmental impact of shipping. The time reduction in transit will increase the throughput in ports, consequently gaining competitiveness with a minimum investment. Docking Assist is a project financed by the European Commission that started in November 2011. The project has a duration of two years and is funded under the program Research for the Benefit of SMEs. For further information, please visit our project website.
There are millions of organizations and meeting venues in the world. In each of them, there are hundreds of meetings. Some are very simple, others are very important. But they all have one problem. Once they've been held, there's no way of getting them back. What happens to all the great content that is created in a meeting? Can you imagine being able to replay any meeting whenever you wanted? Eureka! That's DocuMeet. The first system that can capture audio from each of the meeting attendees with cordless microphones, thereby allowing complete freedom of movement. Transcribe everything said at the meeting automatically, adapting the system to each participant's way of speaking. Produce summaries and analyses of all the content as well as of each person's contributions. Create an index with complete information about the meeting, including all the material used in it, presentations, photos, graphics, etc. Search through all this information and share from virtually anywhere to everyone. All the information is securely stored at either your premises or in the cloud, so that you can access the information easily and share it with your colleagues and customers whenever you need to, whilst controlling access. A comprehensive, groundbreaking technology solution that captures all your valuable meeting information. DocuMeet is a collaborative European project funded by the European Commission and managed by the Research Executive Agency under the Research for the Benefit of SMEs of the 7th Framework Programme. More information about the involved companies and the project itself can be found at www.documeet.eu. DocuMeet. Technologically advanced, functionally intelligent. A több mint 50 országban működő Enterprise Europe Network, mely a világ legnagyobb és az Európai Unió egyetlen vállalkozás fejlesztési hálózata, Magyarországon mind a hét régióban jelen van. A hálózat célja a kis- és középvállalkozások külpiacra segítése, nemzetközi üzleti kapcsolataik bővítése, innovatív technológiáik hasznosításának elősegítése, valamint a vállalkozások bevonása az Európai Unió kutatás-fejlesztési pályázataiba. A Közép-Magyarországi Regionális Iroda Budapesten működik. Zoltai Miklós az Enterprise Europe Network közép-magyarországi követe, akinek az Enterprise Europe network való kapcsolata több mint három évvel ezelőttre nyúlik vissza. 2011-től 2013-ig a hálózat segítségével 26 partnerkereső profilt helyeztek el a hálózat innovációs adatbázisában, ahol az Atecnea Solutions alakuló K F konzorciumokhoz keresett még hiányzó partnereket. Több mint 150 érdeklődés érkezett a hálózati partnerek közvetítésével, melyek közül végül az elmúlt két évben 30 esetben történt meg az Enterprise Europe Network által közvetített nemzetközi partnerek bevonása. Az Atecnea Solutions Kft. hosszú ideje az Enterprise Europe Network kliense. Több nemzetközi pályázatokhoz segített a hálózat partnert találni kapcsolatrendszerén keresztül. Így történt ez a Takmon és a Takmon 2 projektek esetében is, amikor egy hiányzó partner felkutatásához kérték a Hita Enterprise Europe Network segítségét. Enterprise Europe Network a hatékony nemzetközi hálózat. Az Enterprise Europe Network több mint 600 szervezetének egyike a Nemzeti Külgazdasági Hivatal. A Magyarországi Konzorcium vezetése mellett a közép- és észak-magyarországi régióban segíti a kis- és középvállalkozások nemzetközi kapcsolatteremtését. Bödöcs Robert a hivatal befektetés ösztönzési és üzletfejlesztési elnök helyettese, valamint Holli Sára, a Hita Enterprise Europe Network osztályvezetője, munkatársaikkal együtt rendszeresen találkoznak a követtel, hogy újabb lehetőségeket ajánljanak figyelmébe. Zoltai Miklós Enterprise Europe Network követ rendszeresen vesz részt szakmai rendezvényeken, ahol saját példáján keresztül bemutatja az Enterprise Europe Network előnyeit, a nemzetközi üzletfejlesztési hálózat kínálta lehetőségeket. Enterprise Europe Network. Üzletfejlesztés karnyújtásnyira.